What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon back with another episode on the Survival Craft server. Oh, yeah. So, we're kind of all by our lonesome on the server today. No collabs for today. And there's a reason for that, people. As much fun as uh, collabs are, we can't keep hanging out in a hidey hole here. I mean, I know hidey holes are great, but I have some standards some standards and they're a little higher than living in a dirt hut so what we need to do is we need to get on the mission of finding some stuff like for one the mob farm we have set up here is a little weak at best because it's a zombie farm and well you know zombie farms just kind of generally suck for xp they're good for other stuff but not xp also um, the wither hasn't been taken out yet, and the dragon hasn't been taken out yet, so there's lots of stuff to do yet on this server, and one of the big ones, I think we all know I have the best design ever for a blaze farm, so since we're lacking a good XP farm, and I did it off camera, but I had mentioned to you guys that I had found... A blaze spawner and it's real convenient so we're, we're definitely gonna have to make a, a blaze farm with that so I gotta take our coordinates down because I'm still new on the server enough that I don't have this committed to memory and when we go on a trip I could get lost so I need a home and I have decided guys that Home is going to be probably somewhere up in the sky. And for that, I want glass. So we need to find a desert. And the blaze spawner. We need to find either a slime chunk or a swamp biome. With, whoop. Oops. Sorry, guys. It's a thing that happens when you're playing other games because every game other than Minecraft has the run and sneak buttons reversed from this game. Yeah, it's a thing. So yeah, we need uh, we need either a swamp with which to get the slime balls or a slime chunk. Look at this guy. Look at this guy over here. Do I have enough arrows to waste a few? Yeah, okay. Ah, he's dead anyways. We'll just leave him. So yeah, we're gonna need a swamp and I'm definitely kind of thinking up in the sky here. I'm definitely, oh, we're at, we're at spawn, right? And kind of, there's not a lot going on at spawn other than, you know, the flower forest thing, which is great. I love flowers, but kind of the best thing about a flower forest is how pretty it looks. And that's about it. It's the flowers that look pretty. That's it. That's all. There's not much else going on. So we kind of don't want to tear it down and wreck its natural beautification. And besides, once you plant a ho house in it, there's nothing special anyways. Like the landscape's just flower. Flowers. Flower power. That's it. So I kind of figured we'd hop in the boat and we'd just kind of boot around here. Well, I'm just going to boot around here. And see if I find anything. And we'll just kind of check out the immediate area a little bit. Like we can already tell kind of immediately around spawn. This is pretty much it. Like we're loading chunks. And I'm pretty sure last time we came out of a cave out here. This Yeah, see this is, this is deep ocean, man. So this could go on for a while. Um... We could also use an ocean monument. Apparently Paco found one, but I don't know where that is. Dave said something about he ripped half of it apart and gave up. And Dave's not too sure where it is either. And, you know, seeing as it's his server, he's the longest running on it. So if he's not sure, we could probably use a new one. So, yeah. Bacon is going to do the boat. And I don't know. 
I'll, when I get something interesting, I guess I'll bring you back. BRB's peeps. Well, guys, I didn't find exactly what we were looking for, but um, spruce wood, which is, you know, one of my favorite woods, and I actually don't recall seeing any um, back at spawn. I remember seeing dark oak, and we've got birch, and of course we've got tons of oak itself, but I don't remember, oh, server McLaggerton actually seeing any spruce so I think I definitely need to cut down a couple of these trees and get me some sapplings for for my sprucey goodness requirements because sprucey goodness is important oh and I found a crafting table just randomly laying out in the world so that's thing yeah yeah that was the thing just laying there with a couple broken sticks almost like it was a broken boat which confuses me because we're in 1.9 and boats don't break so I don't get it but yeah you know luck strikes again oh and on a, a positive note um my hidey hole hasn't blown up yet, so I don't know if uh, our buddy old pal Paco has uh, decided what he's doing for revenge yet or not. Quite frankly, that's the part that scares me. When you pull a prank and you sign on and nothing's happened, that's when you should be scared. So, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I'm going to wait for these leaves and, uh, yeah, go back to boating. And I'll see you in a bit. Um, did anybody lose their dogs? Look at this. Poor guys. Here, let's 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 get a screenshot. You poor guys. Somebody just left you here. I'd take you with me, but you know it doesn't work that way on servers. You won't follow my commands. I actually got out thinking I was gonna, you know, maybe go through the night because I saw some dogs and take out some skeletons and tame me up some but yeah no instead I find somebody else's poor dogs all alone left here to die so basically for bio this is a lot of what I see yeah it's that's it guys that's it that's all just a lot of biomes like this I'll take some rose bushes. I mean, I'm sure we got lots back at Flower Forest, but... Oh, yeah, and uh, Dave and I were having this chat, guys, and we kind of did something here. Um, if any of you watch Hermitcraft, Mr. Zoomavoid came up with this thing with the new command blocks in 1.9 uh, where you could actually set a chain of commands to allow one player sleeping in a bed to change the time from um, night to day on a server. So yeah, I don't know if Dave's planning on doing like a, a video tutorial on it or not. If he does, I'll probably, you know, smash it a like so it pops up on my channel and I'll mention it to you guys. But uh, he just kind of got her all set up. Is this somebody else's dog? Look, it's low health. Are you wild? Are you wild? Can I feed you? I can feed you. So you're just out here all low on health? That's all? Her. Will you follow me because I've got food? Are you another broken dog? Hmm. Almost dead dogs roaming around. You'd think you'd see somebody's house or something. But I've seen squat in the area, people. They're also the only dogs I've seen in the area. So, yeah. All right, anyways, but yeah, uh, Zuma has it up on his channel, which is also on my channel if you're interested in checking it out for your server. And, you know, 
I'm, I'm not going to do a tutorial on it because it's not my design and I didn't do anything to change it. Um, it's basically an exact copy of Zuma's because Zuma's design works perfectly. So, you know, hats off to him for giving us that ability with the new command blocks. And if you're interested, he is linked at the bottom of my channel under recommended viewing and you should go check it out because it's amazeballs. Okay. I guess I, I don't know. I'm going to look around for dogs maybe just because I'm here. You know, ones that aren't tamed and dying. See you in a bit. Guys, lily pads. We found lily pads. You know what that means? There might be a swamp around here. I mean, it looks like the the yeah the water's swamp color. That swamp biome color. There's vines over there. Oh yay! Okay. Well, I think we can do uh, slimes then. That's cool. Plus, I got some lily pads, which is always cool because I love lily pads. So yeah, let's uh, let's get over here and yay, yay! That still doesn't solve my sand problem, but okay. Um. What, what, what? Stupid invisible block stuff. Now the part I hate about this is really if you're smart before you go hunting for slimes, you set your spawn and then you have to wait 10 minutes. So, I don't know. We'll set spawn. And shall we take a snapshot? See how it notifies you now? Did you see that in the screen? How it notifies you that I'm sleeping? So that's part of the thing is the way the command actually works is uh, the command blocks are doing a tick and I didn't even pay attention to those coordinates while I was talking. Okay, so minus 10, minus 1440, roughly, is where our bed and our boat's at. So the uh, the command blocks are doing a, t a, a tick check for people sleeping, essentially, is how it works. And then what they do is when they detect someone sleeping, um, it starts a counter to reset the time of day. And now it's not going backwards, it's passing the night. So you're not going to lose stuff. It's very important to note. It's not actually reversing the time. What did I say that was before I got lost again? So, 40 minus 14, I guess. Yeah, 40 minus 14. Um, and then what it does is, it's a series of commands. So it actually offers others the opportunity to type a kick command in to effectively kick me out to uh, of the bed and prevent the knight from sleeping. So if someone say, you know, trying to, uh, trying to, what do you call it? Um, catch some, some lightning creepers or something like that, that requires them to be doing things at night. They can kick me out of bed to keep the night time. And that's part of the reason for the notification. All they have to do is just uh, enter the kick command and it will kick me out of bed and keep the, the night time going. However, what happens is the, the command blocks wait for a period of time for that to be a thing. And if they don't detect anybody kicking me out, ooh, you gotta be kidding me. I found another ravine. Is it just a crappie? Yeah, that's not a ravine. That's just a hole in the ground. Um, so what was I saying? If uh, nobody kicks me out during the allotted time, then what occurs is the command blocks actually move time forward to the next day. 
So very, very cool thing. Very, very cool indeed. And like I said, Zoomavoid, if you're interested, check it out. It's his thing, not mine. I saw the video on it and I kind of just suggested to Dave, hey, why don't we do this? And uh, yeah, Dave just kind of figured, you know what, that's a good idea. And watch Zuma vid uh, Zuma's video and get her done. So, cool thing. That means when somebody else is on AFKing or whatever and you're out in the middle of the night and you don't want to die, you can just sleep and you're good to go. Well, one thing came out of this anyways, guys. I have some clay and some lily pads. So we might not have the sand we covered just yet. But we have clay and lily pads and one of my favorite vanilla flowers. No, not a flower that's vanilla, guys. My favorite flower in vanilla, sillies. Jeez, don't be ridiculous. How many lily pads are we up to? 38. It's a start. It's a start. I should have plenty of clay for any little side projects like flower pots and that kind of stuff. I generally prefer to find a mesa before I do any major clay projects. Just because, you know, harvesting it like this is a pain in the butt. And even though it's kind of all over the place in a swamp, still not enough to be do anything really super efficient. Hey, would you... Did you guys notice I couldn't see that from underground? What was that about? We'll grab this. Never hurts, guys. You know, you can pass it up thinking you might not need it. And then you have a craving to make flower pots. And you don't remember where the biome was, or you didn't write it down, or all that stuff. So, whenever I hit myself a swamp, I like to at least make sure I grab up on a stack of clay, and usually a stack of these here things too. Because really, you can't get them anywhere else, you can't grow them. You know. I'll take that flower, thank you very much. Now we're getting close to a stack on the lily pads, and I'm definitely marking the coordinates because we're coming back here slime hunting. I think, um, I think the plan is Luigi and I are going to kind of go to town on that someday soon because we both kind of want to get that blaze farm done. So we were talking about tag teaming it a little just because it is a lot of work, right? So that way we can get her done quicker. See? We're so SMRT. Okay. We got over a stack. Got lots of clay. Should probably start heading back towards the bed. Which is... That way? Yes. Maybe we'll just grab this clay here. Just because it's a nice big patch. Oh, I wish I had shears with me, or iron to make shears. I could use some vines too. Don't have those yet either. Oh yeah, give me all the things clay. All the things clay. Take you too, punk. What you talking about? Yeah, I might, uh, I think I'll hang out at least a little bit near the bed though, relatively near the bed. And we should at least get some slime balls. Just in case Bacon wants a sticky piston, which I think we all know is likely to happen. I mean, I'd rather just find a slime junk. But that's, you know, without cheating and using admiss for that, there's really only one way to do that. And that is just to spend the time caving until you find it. Give me that. And that, 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 and that. 
Okay, I put this F3 screen up for a reason so we could start venturing home. Well, home to the bed. And I'm not being very nice if I'm not doing that because I know the F3 screen sucks donkey doo doo to look at. So that way, yes, this way. Our bed was this way. Right? Right, sheep? We should just be over this here, hill here. I know I said a stack and I'm taking more than a stack. Shh, guys. It's fair. I'll share. Not likely. Maybe. Probably not. Okay. Over this way then? Over this way, right? It was 1440. Holy! Definitely wasn't here. I wouldn't have left this many flowers. Jackpot! Where did I leave my boat? Whoa! 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 That, that's a problem. Problem. Yes, you're the problem. No lighting me on fire. I was more worried about that than the zombie. Okay, let's get out of the hole before we die from it. Whoa, there was a creeper there too. Oh boy. Okay, where'd we leave our boat, man? It was 40, so it wasn't in this direction. And that creeper's gonna come up here. I know he is. 40 minus 1440, which should have been. Okay, we're at 60. What does Shizne? Where's my bed and my boat? Did I get my face lost already? Guys, where's my bed and my boat? We were at like minus 1440. So it. Uh oh, it's getting dark. So 1440. Okay, so we've got to go this way. This way. Um, e Just want to see the bed. There was pigs. I know there was pigs. There's the bed. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Guys, we're back. Let's do it. Let's set up our area of defense, our sissy hole. Okay. This should give us a reasonably safe area to run back to if we need be. Plus, it'll be easier to see it because light. You. Oh, man. I have nothing on the sword. This is a bad idea. What am, what was I thinking? Yeah, this is a bad idea. This is a good way to get myself killed. Like, we're on 1.9, man. Mobs aren't any joke anymore. And I'm deciding to run around with a completely unequipped sword. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Yeah, if I get a zombie horde, I'm probably screwed. And I see no... There's a slime. That's it. That's it. That's all we need. We just need a couple. Just need a couple. You. No. Okay, slime. Come here. Whoa. What did I do that for? No. Give me my sword. Uh oh. 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 Run back to the light. Run back to the light. Run back to the light. Back to the light. Back to the light. Back to the light. Okay. 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 Where's my sword? Sword. Ooh, I knew this was a bad idea. Then I start glut clutzing up like that. Okay. Any creepers around? No. Okay, this I can handle. Okay, 
Gotta eat. Gotta eat. Gotta eat. Man, stupid idea, Bacon. Give me that slime ball. If a creeper had snuck up there... You know what I mean? I was low enough health, that's all it would have taken. One creeper, and my face would have been wrecked. It was a dumb idea. Why didn't you guys talk me out of that? What the heck? Okay, screw this. Good night. Stupid jerk, McJerk faces. How many slime balls did I get? Twelve. It's almost like I had looting. Okay, guys, just uh, point this out. Regular unbreaking two sword. Nothing else. Maybe the MCMMO made a difference. Who cares? I got 12 slime balls. We know exactly where the coordinates are because I took several screenshots. I would call that a win for the episode. I hate when you do that because see what happens. It's like a waste. It is. It's a waste. It's a waste. I hate that. I liked it better when the blocks or the boats just pass right through them. Because then at least I didn't feel like I was wasting them. Okay, so check. We found one of the biomes we need. That's good. I'm going to hit the pause button and maybe head back to spawn. Because, yeah, this all looks like, you know, not lush and hot enough to find desert. BRBs. Oh, okay, guys. Um... You saw that, right? How cool is that? Look! The sand is dropping glowstone dust. I just stopped, I saw this little ocean island, and I thought, you know what? I need sand. It's like way out from spawn. I can just, you know, take this out. Nobody's gonna miss it, really. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing stuff like this occasionally. I wouldn't normally do it, but I need sand, and yeah. You know, it's good for a few stacks. It's enough to get me started, at least, right? That's that's a thing, and I'm getting glowstone out of it, so... I don't know, wouldn't you do it? Yeah. I'll stop once I got... Where'd the sticks come from? They must be coming from the sand, too, because I could have sworn... Did I not make... Oh, I guess I didn't make a second shovel. Ah. That's... Yeah, I had enough sticks for two shovels. So there we go. Pick that back up. And I got room for more sand. Yeah, I know. I'm a terrible person. Just defacing random island in the middle of our world. And it's not like it's just my world and I can just defend it by saying no big deal. But at least I don't leave random crafting tables. Wait, I already did that in one slot too. Okay, I'm just as bad as everybody else. Leave me alone. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, yeah, I took uh, as much sand as I could. And I actually left the one crafting table in the bed there. Because I decided I'm going to go back there and uh, kind of, you know, gut that island, tear the whole thing down. Um, I got more sand than will fit in that chest. So we need to get on another chest already, which is a good problem to have. Oh, what did I do that for? There we go. Yeah, good problem to have indeed. Okay. There we go. We'll start our sand and goodies chesticle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Spruce saplings. We'll just shove all the stuff in our from our trip in here. Except the glowstone dust. And the slime balls. Nope, we have no room for those in here. Do I have room in here? No, no, I do not. I do not. So we'll put those here. We're definitely going to need those slime balls. That's for sure. The slime balls are going to be a huge priority. 
Now, I'm trying to remember, did I make a... Yes, I did. Why did I go off with that crappy sword when I already had a good one? What is wrong with me? Oh, it has no one breaking. That's why. Because I had wanted unbreaking. Um, Did I make this stuff? Didn't I have a whole bunch of leather here, guys? Am I losing my marbles? Leather. No, uh... What the heck? I was sure I killed a bunch of cows. And grabbed a bunch of reeds. Oh, well, we'll do a sleep. Let's do an enchant. Look. I taped a one. I'm special. Okay. Let's... Let's go punch us some reeds, at least. Look at this random horse is still hanging out here. What's up, dude? You're pretty. We call you chocolate. No? No? What if I empty my hand? Will you let me on then? Your hearts kind of suck. And I got no saddle for you anyways, because I already got Bones the super horse. I don't think I used all these. Like, I can't... I came out here and grabbed a bunch of reeds the one day. Can't remember if you guys were with me or not, but I know I did. Why is there... Hang on. I'll deal with you in a sec, dude. There's always... I swear to God, guys. There is always a spider hanging out here. I kill him, and he respawns. And I kill him like I could just, you know... Whoa, this water's dark. I could take a ton of sand from in here, but I don't want to do it. In that little island area, there's a ton of sand out there. It's actually back by Paco's, I realized. Come here, dude. Yeah, I wanted to get unbreaking. And I need to start a villager project too, guys, because we need the mending. But I want to get enough glass to get our base started first. Why am I glass? Why? Well, because, guys, let me put it to you simply. If we're going to put our um, base up in the sky, then I would kind of like to be able to see through the bottom of it. It's just me. It's a thing. That's why I want all the sand for the glass. But we got a few stacks there. Like, that's enough to get started, right? And then little by little, we can expand it. But what I was kind of thinking is um, I'd like to do a big mob farm up in the sky because everybody knows you get the, the best rates up in the sky. And the reason I never do that is because then you actually have to go up in the sky and AFK to make it useful, right? Where I would rather, is his horse still? Yeah, the other chocolate's still in there. I would rather have lower rates and just kind of have it right by my house so that, you know, I'm getting a constant stream. I honestly believe that works out in the long run to having more drops overall. So that's kind of my thing. So, yeah. I figured if I build my base up in the sky, then I'll actually do a mob farm up in the sky. And then we'll have like super crazy all the drops all the time. And it'll be amazeballs. And then, you know, we can help peop other people out with this stuff sometimes too. For a price. Whoa. Just kidding. For free. This ain't that kind of server, guys. We're not all about the currency stuff here. Oh, this is friend. I did have... I told you guys I had sugar cane. Why didn't you point it out, you jerks? Jeez. Yeah, let's... Uh, do I not have any... Yes. I'm losing my mind, guys. Oh, I'll take this iron. I need another shovel. Actually, do we do a shovel yet? We did. It has silk touch. What I should be doing instead of enchanting and hoping I get lucky is going and trading with the villagers and bane of... Seriously? The heck am I supposed to use that for, you jerks? 
Um, that sword is like perfect. So I don't know, guys. Do we do another pick? You know, I've got lots of picks here already. They just need mending and stuff. Really. Like, that's the problem. Anything good? I'm breaking three. Really? Haha! <laughs> we got another brick breaker. That works out perfect. Because we have another efficiency four, right? So we can wear that down, repair that. I am okay with that, guys. That actually works out. Efficiency four. You're kidding me, right? Protection two, smite. Game, you suck. I guess that's probably it for today. And I don't know. We'll see. What I'm thinking with the base is probably like, see how we kind of got this island area up over here. It's still like right close to spawn, right? So it's right close to everybody except Paco who moved away from spawn because, yeah. I guess he doesn't like the rest of us. Actually, I shouldn't say that, guys. Um, Midget Man is also on the server. We just haven't recorded yet because he got on not too long ago. And another friend of both Dave and mine by the name of Nilo is playing on the server as well. Recently decided to join us. So um, you should, you'll probably see them in upcoming videos and that whoa kind of stuff. And yeah, it should be good. But what I was thinking pretty much, guys, is because we kind of got this flower forest. Haha, -ha, skills. Kind of got this flower forest up over here. And the coast is like right there. Dave's house is there. Paco's over there. So I think I'm actually going to put my place just kind of right over the water, right over on the edge there along the coast. And uh, what I want to do, what I would like to do, is like I mentioned, I want to mirror it. So I, at ground level in the ocean, I would like to set out a glass area and put some nether portals and then do a one-to-one -one or an, a one-to-one -one ratio with the portals in the nether so they line up exactly and then go you know the 128 blocks above that and set up my portal to the sky from there is basically what i'm thinking so that i'm exactly oh look look at this dude still hanging out here i'd, I'd seen him take some damage already yeah, and then set it up exactly 128 blocks above so that basically I, I've i got a portal right at surface level in the ocean and then we go in it and in the nether we climb up a ladder or whatever to the next portal and bam, we're 128 blocks up in the air and we're good to go. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And then we'll build our village and our mob farm and all the fun stuff and things up there. All right, guys? So, if you enjoyed this video, as always, smash the like to help a brother out and the channel, and also to help others that might enjoy this content find the channel as well. And if you haven't already, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe for more daily videos. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!